Hello again folks, and yep, the Egypt with an Aragon's back. Sorry you haven't heard too much from me as last while, but I found I was sitting behind a computer editing more than I actually was out in the field hunting. So I took a wee break from YouTube for a while. The problem now is I've got a pile of footage to edit, so I'm going to have to sit back at the computer again and start working. This footage here is from back in July where I decided to go and see if there was any more feral pigeons back in the sheds again. And I was only in the door when I spotted four or five of them up in the rafters. It's quite dark up in the rafters, so I switched the illuminated radical on to help me see the crosshairs. That's the first one down, but I had to give the rest of them a few moments to settle again. Just need this one to move a little to get a clear shot. Ah, grand job, hey. The rest of the birds are fluttering around the shed that much it's hard to know where they're going to land. Ah, missed. Not pigeon timed that to perfection. At least you can say you can hit the broadside of a barn, hey. You see, I got it that time. Ah, beginner's luck. I'll just lift these before I go on and check the next shed. But that's four down in, 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 in as many minutes. So that's a pretty good start. Sounds like you got a bad starter to me. We stew. Nobody asked for your opinion. Don't worry, it's free! So, if you're wondering why I shoot the feral pigeons, this is why. They dung over everything. There's no point spending tens of thousands building a shed to protect your machinery when this is what they end up looking like. And they do the same thing to the feed troughs and the water troughs for the cattle sheds, which can spread all sorts of diseases. The top of the combine isn't as bad this year. But man, is that a big pigeon egg. Boy, I'm going to have to invest in a bigger rifle. I think you better go before Mama Pigeon comes back. And drop into spec savers on the way home too. Time to check the adjoining shed. Unfortunately, there's a lot of young calves in here. So I can't open the door too far, otherwise they'll be out by me. Looks like there's two or three magpies at the back of the shed. Probably about 50 yards or so, which is a bit far for my liking at the minute. And a few feral pigeons. One of which seems to be close enough for a shot. I don't know what that is there. That closest bird seems to be about 35 yards away, so we'll take a go at it. The other birds are a wee bit too far away, but I might be able to get a much easier shot from an adjoining shed on the left hand side. To get into the shed I want it, I have to come through the cattle shed, as the doors open from the inside. But on the way to the gate, I quickly spotted another bird up in the rafters fairly close to me.
these sheds are all a wee bit of a maze. Technically they all connect to each other, but there isn't really an actual access or doorway from one shed to another, hence the gate climbing. Ah sure, you could do with the exercise. I didn't really think there'd be any pigeons left in the shed after that last shot, but as I looked up into the rafters, I spotted a couple. I didn't really want to take an awkward freehand shot up into the rafters, so decided to push this bale over a wee bit closer to give myself something to rest on. The pigeons didn't really seem to mind the movement, probably used to people working in and around the sheds and the rangefinder told me it was a simple enough 25 yard shot. The second bird wisely decided not to stick around. I decided to have a look out the back of the shed, as there's a few trees and some overhead wires that you'll get jackdaws sitting on at times. Now I couldn't see any jackdaws sitting on the treetops or the wires, but there was one sitting on a roof to an adjoining building. But the only way I could get a shot at it without opening the door, which probably would have spooked it anyway, was the gap between the door and the doorpost, which the bird lined up perfectly with. While I was looking for some feral pigeons up in the dark shadowy spots of the rafters, I noticed that there was a couple of jackdaws sitting on the electric wires outside. I tried to get a shot off of the gate, but I just couldn't get the right angle. That and the cattle wouldn't let me alone. So I decided to climb into the pen and see if I could get a shot through one of the openings in the back wall. Now, I wouldn't advise climbing into a pen with livestock. Because if you read the situation wrong, they can panic and either hurt you or themselves. Thankfully, I grew up next door to my uncle's farm, so I'm pretty used to working with livestock. Now, I was almost back out the door again when I noticed yet another jackdaw sitting in the wire. This time though, I had to take a free hand shot where I was standing. Oh, steady there ya boy ye. Unfortunately, I could only find the one bird. I suspect the other one fell deeper down into that overgrown hedge. On the way back to the sheds, I got a glimpse of actually how many feral pigeons is about here. Though I don't like shooting them off of that particular shed roof as the road's not too far behind it. By now, I've had a good look around all the sheds, so decided to go back to the one with the calves in it and lift the pigeons that I'd shot before they get tramped into the floor. We're getting quite a pile by now. Since I couldn't see any more birds in the sheds, I decided to wait at the most active spot to see if any of the birds would come back in again.
And, sure enough, that's what they did, in ones and twos, over the next few hours. Unfortunately in the dim light, I thought this bird was actually facing me, when in fact it was actually a Texas heart shot. Not a shot I would recommend, but at this close range it actually done the job. I shot away until a point where, even though it was still light outside, it got too dark up in the rafters to see the pigeons. And unfortunately in Northern Ireland, we're not allowed to use night vision or artificial light to control the pest birds. So I decided it was a good time to pack up and head next home. You need to eat more carrots, hey? Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed that, and again I'm sorry for the long absence, but on the good side I've probably got enough footage to last me to Christmas, it just all needs edited and voiced over. But until then, take care and look after yourselves hey.